had to give 90 days notice to the end of the year. And there's two trillion in hedge funds in the US alone. And so they said that every rally will be sold into by the hedge funds and drive it down again. So we're going to get this. They don't know what the redemption number is, but the hedge funds have to do a lot of redemptions. And that's what's going to drive it down. Mutual funds too. As one said to me, there's no Federal Reserve Bank for mutual funds. People want to redeem tomorrow, they got to follow. They've got to sell into the market, which is already not nice. So, as I say, I think the governments are going to start to finally realize because this bailout isn't working and Washington was embarrassing last week. Uh, I also had my call of something that was interesting that only 20% of the people in Congress have an economics and business background. Of course, Bush had an economics and business background. <laughs> Getting back to the Spitzer mortgage uh, back thing, he waged court actions with 18 other states attorneys throughout the 90s and into the, the, the new one uh, to try and clean up the mortgage practices that actually was the beginning of this problem. The derivatives were actually on top of it. Um, and a lot of fraud, the FBI is in there, the thousands of people that would go to jail. Um, terrorists were doing mortgages, the mafia were doing mortgages. It should never have been allowed. In every case, in every state, Spitzer and the other attorneys general trying to clean up the mortgage practices, which would have probably prevented many millions of homes from being sold to people that should have been sold to, were fought, hammer and tong, and lost in court to the Office of the Comptroller. It was the Bush regime saying, thou shalt not regulate. Let the market go. Let the market do its thing. So, on that note, uh, I think it's as much a police story as it is a failure of regulatory oversight story. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to have a tough time. But I think Canada will be okay. We'll, we'll get through this better than most. So on that note, I'll take some questions. Thank you. Solid guy. We all like him. He's a, one of us. Uh, 
Collins. And, and I think he's going to win. But he's got to say, look, I'm an economist. We're on this. We have a very strong central bank. The country is strong. We do not have the trillions and trillions of dollars of, of you know, IOUs that the U.S. and some other countries have. And we have social safety nets. We're not going to have riots in the street. Trust me, if the U.S. does not do what it has to do, you're going to see real problems in the U.S. For sure in 10 